many of you have been asking me to do a detailed video on how I cured my hypothyroid naturally without any medication. Today is a lovely weather, it doesn't feel like winter today, it looks like it's early spring. So I thought why not record the video in the park. Hypothyroidism is one of the main lifestyle diseases many of us have these days. And I was also a victim of hypothyroidism due to my very stressful lifestyle. And I've come out of the other side of it without any medication and just naturally. And I keep checking my TSH levels, T4 and T3 hormone levels every four months once and they're all perfectly normal. I've lost weight now and I've got lots of energy, I've got my energy back and I've got my life back actually. That's the most important thing, isn't it? When I had hypothyroidism, I had all the symptoms right from weight gain, inability to lose weight and tiredness, fatigue. Fatigue is two different ways, physical fatigue and mental fatigue. chills in your palms and feet and constipation, headaches, all the time tiredness. I had all these symptoms. These are all symptoms of underactive thyroid. Of course, we have pills to fix all these problems to some extent. We can have those tablets or we can fix the underlying thyroid problems. We can heal our thyroid gland and all these negative symptoms will disappear slowly and eventually. That's exactly what I did. My intention of this video is to help each and everyone out there who is suffering with hypothyroid issues and heal it naturally. I'm going to tell you how I used my lifestyle to heal my hypothyroid and how I used my diet and how I used herbs to heal my underactive thyroid. If you're on a medication for your thyroid problems for a long time, you can't just come off it just in one day. You can work parallelly, you can increase your functionality of your thyroid parallelly along with your medication and you can come off your medication slowly. Firstly, we need to understand the thyroid gland itself. This thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped gland which is right under our neck here. It's a butterfly shaped gland. It has got two most important functions in our body. It does help a lot of other things too but two functions are very very important. One is controlling your metabolic activity and the other one is maintaining your hormonal balance in the body. This underactive thyroid is the number one reason for weight gain and inability to lose weight across women and men. Today I'm going to talk about what impacts the thyroid gland and gives you problems in the first place. I know many of you out there are taking your thyroid medication for your hypothyroid problems. I'm not here to tell you that you have to get off your medication immediately or your doctors are wrong to give you the medication. I'm here to tell you that don't take medication alone for your underactive thyroid. When I had hypothyroid issues, I went and met an endocrinologist. He was a former president of the British Thyroid Association, so he knew his business. He knew what he was talking about. After running all the tests to confirm that I had hypothyroid, he, gave, he asked me one question. Do you want to work on your thyroid to heal it once and for all? Or do you want a medication for the rest of your life? He explained me that the thyroid medication does nothing to repair or nourish your thyroid glands. When you take the thyroid medication, you feel a little better. You get a little bit more energy. Your TSH and everything shows within the range. But it doesn't fix the root problem. It doesn't fix the thyroid gland. My principle in life is, you know, whatever problems you have, get to the bottom of it. Find out the root cause why you have that problem in the first place instead of just trying to mask the symptoms with your thyroid medication thyroid medication doesn't fix your thyroid it doesn't do anything at all that's why many of you out there are told by the doctors to take the thyroid medication for the rest of their lives and i am here to tell you that it doesn't have to be that way fixing your thyroid once and for all is not that big of a struggle. I have done that. If I can do it at my age with raising two kids and a job, if I can do that, anybody can do it. Our bodies are so excellent. Human body is such a great system. It can heal itself. If you change your rights, uh, if you change your lifestyle and if you give it the right environment and rest, it can heal itself actually. First, let's understand how stress affects your thyroid gland. For me, it was my stress that led to my thyroid in the first place. I was in my previous job, I was always stressed out, I was anxious at my job. You know, I think it is the curse of being raised in an Indian middle class family. 
and because you're constantly told from right from your childhood you have to be best at your studies and you have to work hard and you have to be you have to be the best in whatever you do so it's a constant stress for me you see and not only working women and men you know even the you know, mothers who stay at home uh, they are worried and constantly stressed out all the time because of raising kids and all this is becoming more and more difficult these days you see when we are stressed out we have two adrenals that is very close to these almond shaped glands that is situated very close to your kidneys these adrenals produces a hormone called cortisol this cortisol actually is a good hormone we need that hormone to survive but if, if you are stressed out for one day nothing happens okay we are not going to get a heart attack but when we are constantly stressed out this cortisol is produced by the adrenals constantly when we have high levels of cortisol in our body three things happen to us first thing is our thyroxin production is reduced second the dha hormone which is very very vital for increasing the boosting the immunity that is reduced too so your immunity is compromised and third your testosterone hormone is reduced men have more testosterone and we women have less of it but this less a small amount of testosterone is very important for our for our energy levels and for hormonal balance i used meditation and yoga to deal with my stress and i also used the adaptogenic herbs that is ashwagandha and holy basil holy basil is the tulsi we call in india and these two herbs actually they were used in india for thousands and thousands of years they don't actually stop your stress but nobody can stop stress from the outside world but it helps your body to deal with the stress it helps your adrenals to handle stress much more efficiently i take these two herbs every single day the quality of these uh, ashwagandha and holy basil herbs are very important you need only organic ones for me these herbs have done wonders i'll give you the links for these two herbs what i use in the description box below another reason for thyroid problem is diets yes we have extreme diets these days many diets paleo diet vegan diet and what else you know some people eat chicken and vegetable diet protein only diet lots and lots of diets are there these diets are amazing for different people and different situations but not for everybody especially when we eat too many raw vegetables like vegetables like you know other cruciferous vegetables cauliflower um, and cabbage and kale these vegetables are cruciferous vegetables they have something called as goitrogen this goitrogen affects your thyroid gland it reduces the um, production of thyroxine in your body so you need to, you can't eat too much of raw foods like this you have to either steam these vegetables or cook these vegetables and many people these days to reduce weight or to maintain their weight they go on a low calorie diet low calorie means your body interprets it as it is the feminist cow so it goes to a protective mode actually what it does is it tries to slow you down by reducing the thyroxine reduced thyroxine means less energy levels and body hangs on to every bit of food you eat it stores fat in the cells so eventually weight gain reduced calorie diet means less thyroxine so you will definitely get hypothyroid issues so you know for testing this theory you uh, observe people who are on diets who are on reduced calorie diets their mood is you know they have irritated mood all the time they get mood swings all the time that's why it's a big impact a big shock to the whole system balanced diet is very important to have an excellent thyroid system coming to the next point dietary oils if we are consuming the wrong dietary oil we are poisoning ourselves if we are eating the right oil then we are energizing ourselves more immunity and more and more good thyroid function only unsaturated oils like sunflower oil corn oil soy oil these are all very bad to us you will find the soy oil and corn oil in all the you know the processed foods and in the restaurant foods because it's very very cheap and the soy oil is fed to animals to increase the weight in them when we eat it the same thing happens to us and the supermarket shelves are flooded with these polyunsaturated oils these oils are refined more and more to increase their shelf lives otherwise those companies wouldn't make a profit in it these polyunsaturated oils reduce the production of thyroxine 
less thyroxin means less communication between the hormones and cells. This communication between hormones and cells is very important for weight loss and metabolic activity and energy levels. These polyunsaturated oils make the liver very toxic. Liver health is very important for thyroid health. Many people think the whole of the thyroid function happens in your throat, in your thyroid gland, but that's not true. The pituitary gland is situated in our brain here and that is where the TSH is produced, TSH hormone is produced. And then after that, this thyroid gland here produces the T4 hormone and that T4 hormone comes down here to the liver and liver converts the T4 hormone into T3 hormone. It is this T3 hormone which the body requires to regulate your metabolism and to regulate your hormonal function and everything else in your body. So it is a whole big function more than thyroid gland itself. These polyunsaturated oils or long chain fatty acids. I have to go into a little bit of chemistry to make you understand what's the science behind this. When you take these polyunsaturated oils, it oxidizes in your liver more quickly and it doesn't allow the production of very important enzymes which will convert the fat into energy, which will convert the T4 hormone into T3 hormone. So the solution here is to use the good saturated oils like what we used in India for thousands and thousands of years. Ghee, coconut oil, sesame oil, peanut oil, these are all very very good for cooking and they improve the functionality of your liver and they improve your thyroid function as well. Next we need to talk about estrogen. Less thyroxin means more estrogen in your body. That's a bad thing. If you have more estrogen means your body can produce only less of the other protective hormones like progesterone. If less progesterone means you have irregular periods, headaches, bloating, the list is endless really. Let's talk about the tests we do to diagnose the thyroid problems. A lot of us do only the TSH to diagnose your thyroid problem, but that's not enough. Actually, many people who have TSH within the range can still have thyroid problems because you need to take, check your T4 and T3 levels, which happens in your liver, the T4 to T3 conversion levels. Actually, so you have to test TSH, T4 and T3 as well. If your doctor tests only the TSH level and gives you the underactive thyroid thyroxine medicine, you are not with the correct doctor, you are not on the right prescription. Please make sure you test your TSH, T4 and T3 levels too. Why I am saying this is, you know your TSH levels will change if you have, if you are stressed out or if you have any other infection or fever or if you are having your menstrual cycles, your TSH levels will drop out. So that's not the right indication of whether you have a good thyroid or not. So please make sure you need to check your T4 to T3 conversion as well. Please make sure you do that. Next I want to talk about the thyroid medication. First, you need to understand that thyroxine we take is artificial in nature. It's not the same thing as what the body produces. But that's why many people, you know, who, who are on thyroid medication, their charts, their levels show, their uh, the blood test results show within the range, but they still have the tiredness, weight gain, inability to lose weight, chills, fatigue, everything. If the, my question is, if you're on a medication and if your levels are within the range, why these, these symptoms are not disappearing? Why you still have the weight issues? Why you still have the fatigue issues? They should disappear. That's because this artificial thyroxine is not the same as what your body produces. That is the reason many of us are told by our doctors to take this medication for the rest of our lives. It's okay if you want to continue this medication. But there is a way, if you make your lifestyle change, if you make changes in your dietary system, you can actually reduce this medication and slowly and eventually you can come out of this medication. Let's talk about the solution now. Your solution to hypothyroidism problem is cold pressed extra virgin coconut oil. Polyunsaturated oils are long chain fatty acids, but this coconut oil is medium chain fatty acid. This metabolizes very quickly in your liver with least possible oxidation. That means your liver converts T4 into T3 very quickly and also it breaks your fat into energy much more quicker. It also nourishes and heals your thyroid gland. Your thyroxine tablet doesn't address any of these issues but coconut oil does. It helps you burn fat much faster. T4 
two or two to three tablespoons of coconut oil every day is good enough. I'm not talking about the regular coconut oils we get in the shops in the market. This is a cold pressed coconut oil which is prepared from in a process called the wet milling. In that wet milling process what they do is they extract the milk from coconut and this milk is fermented for another one or two days and then they extract oil from it. That extra virgin means it's the first oil prepared from the first milk from the coconut. This extra virgin coconut oil, cold pressed oil, has all the nutrients to enhance your thyroid glands function. The quality of this oil, coconut oil, is very important to heal your thyroid. In the description box below, I'll give you the link for the oil what I use. Next very important thing to heal your thyroid is your sleep. You need quality sleep. You know according to Ayurveda, sleeping between 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. is very very important to rejuvenate, to revitalize your heart and brain functions and all your hormones. You know these days it may be cool, you know, it may be cool and fancy to go to bed late and wake up in the morning very late. Please don't burn your midnight oil. Don't work till the, until you crash. You know, I go to bed around 9 o'clock every night and I wake up at 5 o'clock. Since I go to bed early, I wake up at 5 o'clock without any alarm. And it gives me time to do my breathing and yoga and exercises in the morning before the day even starts. You know, I know some people, some of my friends, um, who I, I think they'll be watching this video as well. Please change yourself. Some of them, I know, uh, they just hibernate. They don't sleep. They just hibernate having their laptop from work and their mobile phone from work near them and then whenever their mobile and uh, whatever beeps they just quickly get up wake up and um, attend to the call from work please don't do that your sleep is very very important for a good thyroid health then I want to talk about the importance of nutrients for thyroid health. You know, when you have thyroid issues, um, your body is depleted from selenium and zinc. And also vitamin D and B vitamins are also very important for a good thyroid health. You need to get these from food. You know, selenium is, um, uh, nuts are very rich in selenium. And you need to go out in sun to get vitamin D. But sometimes after a certain age in women, you know, after 30, it is not, uh, after about 30, 35, it's not actually always possible to get all the nutrients your body needs from food alone. Sometimes we need the help of supplements. I'm using supplements and I feel great. I have more energy levels and these supplements, you know, actually market is flooded with these supplements and most of them, 99% of them are produced from synthetics. Your body doesn't absorb it. It's just a waste of money buying this. I, I buy supplements which are made from whole foods, organic ones, which is absorbed more by your body and you feel energetic as well if you want I will give the link in the description box below and these supplements really help me to revitalize my organs and my thyroid health and everything but remember one thing these supplements alone are not enough for nutrients you need a very very balanced diet you need to eat good food and along with that as a help you have to take these supplements while you're working on your thyroid gland functionality please keep your doctor on the loop if you are on a medication for a long time for your thyroid, you can't just wake up one day and skip your medication. It's not good for you. It's not, not only for thyroid, it's not good to skip any medication all of a sudden. You have to do it parallelly. Take your medication and along with that do all these lifestyle and dietary changes. You will, Your doctor will advise you to slowly reduce your medication. Take the example of my mother. Couple of, uh, not a couple of months, eight months ago she was on 100 mcg of thyroxine and then her doctor reduced it to 75 then 50 and now she's on 25 mg which is great she has more energy levels from 100 to she has come down to 25 mcg which is very very good the idea here is to start healing your thyroid starting from today you can build it parallelly you will go into your transition having the medication and also changing your lifestyle and diet you can do it definitely you can do this now let's recap the lifestyle changes you need to make to heal your thyroid naturally virgin coconut oil, cold pressed coconut oil. You need to take two to three tablespoons of this oil every day. You can use it in cooking or in hot drinks also you can mix it and drink.
and it doesn't taste bad that bad you know actually when i'm not used to eating coconut oil but we used to we use sesame oil at home normally but when i use coconut oil for two three days it was kind of odd but it doesn't taste like coconut actually believe me but the flavor is a little bit different and even my whole family is used to it now my kids eat it too it metabolizes more quickly in your liver it fixes your thyroid gland it nourishes it and it also helps to convert the t4 into t3 hormone next balanced nutrition is very important you, you if possible if needed you take your supplements first get your vitamins and minerals everything checked out and have a great proper diet balanced diet and if needed take a supplement and always increase your selenium intake you have selenium lots of selenium in all the nuts it's available and if needed take the supplements and stop using polyunsaturated oils use only coconut oil sesame oil peanut oil or ghee for cooking use adoptogenic herbs like ashwagandha or holy basil to deal with your everyday stress thyroid function also stimulates immunity if your thyroid is not working well your immunity is totally compromised so please take care of your thyroid health and have a great health in my next video we are going to talk about how stress affects your thyroid and how to fix it once and for all so many people today have thyroid problem and they believe they can never fix it if you are chronically stressed for weeks and for months and if you are going for a thyroid test let's imagine your thyroid will be low your thyroid function will be wrecked and you will have improper conversion of t4 to t3 now you tell me whether it is your thyroid to be fixed or your chronic stress to be fixed which is the right one which is the root cause for this thyroid problem it's your stress isn't it if you fix your stress your thyroid is going to work normally there are many out there who are doing this they're not fixing the root cause they are taking medication for their thyroid if they fix their lifestyle if they reduce their stress their thyroid is going to work normally thyroxin helps your body to eliminate cholesterol so if you have less thyroxine in your body that means you are going to have higher levels of cholesterol in this case you decide whether to take a pill for your cholesterol or work with your thyroid working with your thyroid is the best smart option isn't it but i insist you again please don't get off your medication without your doctor on the loop you can continue your healing process parallel to your medication your doctor will advise you to get off the medication very very slowly that is the safe method to do it but i can tell you one thing if you do it the right way you can get off your medication i have done that i'm an example for it you have to believe in yourself healing your thyroid is 100% possible i wish you all the very best in your journey